This is my niece, Angel. She was killed by domestic violence. These are our three children, Rachel, Madeline, Yates, and they were killed by a drunk driver. These are the Robinson children that were killed under domestic violence homicide. All these people you see here have one thing in common. They've lost a loved one to a senseless act of violence. This week, we're honoring a family who's also suffered incredible loss, but they found their strength in helping others. And the renovation starts right now. Tracy Eduardo, we're traveling through Montgomery, Alabama, on our way to meet the Jordan family. It's Brittany, Monica, their daughter Brittany, and their three grandkids. Now, this is an incredible family who's had to deal with unbelievable tragedy, but somehow they found strength and comfort in helping others. Take a look at this tape and you'll see why we're here. Hi, ABC! We're the Jordan family from Montgomery, Alabama! My name is Brady and I'm the dad. Hi, I'm Monica and I'm the mom. Hi, I'm Miles, and I'm 15. My name is Shane, and I'm 14. I'm Keontae, and I'm 11. Welcome to the Monica and Brady fell in love 30 years ago. They got married, and over the next few years, they started a family. We had so much fun raising our children, and it was a blessing because a lot of people don't have that. But my children had mom and dad their entire lives. Monica and Brady's oldest daughter, Falashada, still lived at home with her baby, Miles, and was making future plans with her fiancé, Demond. She was just determined to make something of herself. So she joined the National Guard because she had checked into going to law school. She had joined the National Guard in order to pay for her education to become that lawyer so she wouldn't put a burden on me. For some reason, I think my daughter's boyfriend looked at my daughter going off to basic training as abandoning him. Something just snapped in him that I think is in everybody, and I think he had just reached a point where he just could no longer control it. Just one week before Falashada was scheduled to leave for basic training, DeMond asked her to take a ride with him. But after a few hours, no one had heard from them. DeMond finally called 911 from a nearby gas station, and what he had to say was terrifying. DeMond admitted to the police that he had shot and killed Falashada. He then turned the gun on himself. When our daughter was killed, we didn't even understand the pain, the hurt, and the sadness that a family will go through for the rest of their lives. After the devastating deaths of Falashada and her fiance, Monica and Brady immediately took custody of their grandson, Miles. Me losing my mom at a young age, it's been kind of hard, like a piece of my heart is missing. But I know she always looking at me from up above, protecting me. Then, a short time later, tragedy struck again. Monica and Brady's only son, William, was driving alone on a highway when he was suddenly hit from behind. Before William could get out safely, a car speeding at over 100 miles per hour hit him head on. The other driver was drunk. Losing two people who you really care about and you don't know why, you know, this happened to our family. We don't know. It's hard. It's even harder when holidays come that they're not here with us. That's the hardest part about it. And their birthdays. And every day is hard. After bearing their second child, Monica and Brady took in William's two kids, Shan and Tay Tay. Knowing that her family needed support, Monica and Brady's daughter Brittany decided to stay at home and help raise the kids. My mom and dad were strong. They still helped others and they helped to make us strong. Monica found comfort in helping others. She started working for the Alabama Crime Victims Compensation Commission. She also became an advocate for Mothers Against Drunk Driving and now educates children and adults on the fatal effects of drinking and driving. We have been so blessed to have Monica Jordan be a part of our mission to help victims of crime. And sometimes it takes a person who has been victimized to really have a passion about this issue. If I impact just one person in my entire life, I have done good, you know? Monica and Brady are pillars of strength. Unfortunately, their own home is falling apart and there just isn't enough room for everyone in this house. 
We find joy in helping to raise our grandchildren. I guess as a result, we sort of neglected the house. <laughs> when the kids need something, that comes first. Since I was little, I remember calling mom and dad. I don't think I ever called them grandma or granddad. If you came and gave my mom and dad a new house, it wouldn't get rid of everything that we've been through, but it would sure help. I mean, they just work so hard for us and for everybody else. I mean, just to give something back to them is amazing. Wow, uh, they've been through a lot. So yeah. what do you say, can we do this? Yeah. We're bringing in the people, are you with me? We're We're with you. Well, then let's do it! My babies are looking down and they're smiling. And that is so wonderful. <laughs> More people will understand how much violence affects a whole family, a community, a whole city. And now you guys are here to, to help us get that word out even more so. And we're all just so proud and, and so thankful. This is going to be a heavy week. I mean, sometimes reality is, is harsh. With Monica, she's lost the loves of her life, her kids. And um, I noticed she never let go of my hands. It's pretty symbolic in the sense that she's been able to reach out to so many people. And I think she has needed others to reach back. And I think this week, that's exactly what's going to happen. This week, we're going to try and make things a little easier on you guys, OK? And the cool thing is, is while we're working on your house this week, you guys are going on vacation. <laughs> oh. You guys want to know where you're going? Oh, yeah, we're going. You guys are going to Disney. Come on in. So this is the wall of photos. The babies and grandbabies. And that's full of shot right that's there? That's full of shot. That's her uh, senior picture. So first her and then? Then William. And when I had to go through that, I, I couldn't believe it. They were supposed to grow up and do things and be somebody, you know? But their lives were cut short. So I tried to be so, somebody for them. This is uh, Charlotte's tassel. She graduated in 1995. She um, checked into the um, law school here in town. And, but she was killed before she could could go. <clears throat> I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. She knew that's what I had wanted to be. In fact, she said we were going to go to school together. And both of us were going to be lawyers. We were going to be partners. When you're home, have you found that you got to stay busy? Oh, yeah. What keeps me busy what? is my cooking. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so that... yeah. And so this is where you cook? This, this is, is the, where the I kitchen. cook. Oh, this picture? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that Mama, was up there. Mama's I had to do that for a fundraiser one time. Wow, that's cool. So you make your own sauce, a little mm -hmm. secret recipe. Yeah. And, okay, and so that mm -hmm. is where you used to have light? You used to. <laughs> and uh, we've had some flooding. I see that. I mean, so the linoleum yeah. is peeling up everywhere. And it, and, and well, that's because the water will come in and it'll be like, you know, knee deep. <laughs> When you look at a woman like Monica, it makes you wonder where she gets her strength. And it's obvious that with what they've gone through, what they've lost, they, they haven't been able to fix the house. They've been focused on fixing each other. It's falling apart everywhere. You've got holes that Monica herself has patched. I'm just glad we can finally fix the one thing that we really can, which is a house. We can take that burden and that worry so she doesn't have to be reminded of 
all the things she has to fix every day. So Miles and Keontae, you share a room, right? Uh, yes, sir. And now you guys both are here on the bed? Yes, sir. Sometimes I, you know, put them on the floor. Does this dictation only go in once in a while? Nah, he kicks a lot, though. You kick a lot? Yeah. Basketball, right? Yes, sir. Well, who's your favorite player? Uh, Dirk Nowitzki. The Mavericks. Dallas. Yes, sir. Right? Now, what about college? Would you like to play in college? Uh, hopefully. I mean, but if I don't make it, you know, I have a backup plan. I'll probably what? become an engineer. An engineer. engineer. Tay, Tay, what do you like to do? I love volcanoes and earthquakes and thunderstorms and stuff like that. So you kind of like the stuff that makes up makes up the planet, huh? The thermosphere, the exosphere, the endosphere, all that. You all the way out to space then? <laughs> yeah. Right? Miles lost his mother of Falashada when he was three years old. Tay Tay lost his father William to a drunk driver when he was six years old. Now these are two cousins that have been through a tremendous amount of grief. And here they are sharing not just the same room, but their same bed. So one of the things we want to do is make sure that they have their own space this week. The sun was in my eyes. Nope. Sun was in my eyes. <laughs> So this is both of your rooms. Wow, OK. A lot fit into a tight space, I see. Yes, yeah. definitely. OK, if you were to have your dream room, what would your room look like, Brittany? <laughs> I love mirrors, so. OK. Yes, and definitely if anything dealing with medicine, um, okay. I want to be a pediatrician, so. Do you really? Yes. I know you guys have been through a lot. And I'm so sorry for your loss. It's just, yeah. yeah. Yes really hard you know first my sister passing someone who I looked up to she was pretty much my hero because I always wanted to be just like her yeah and then my brother it was <sighs> it was pretty hard Shan can you tell me a little bit about your dad can you tell me what you remember and he always kept us laughing and you know, so he encouraged us to do things better and I always wrote poetry about him and things to express myself to get through it he was a good person. Yeah. Shan has lost her dad. Brittany has lost two siblings. And Brittany's really helping her mom and dad raise her niece and nephews. And it puts things in perspective. You know, be grateful for what you have. You never know. Monica has really made it her passion, her goal in life, to tell her story, to reach out to others. And while she's away on vacation, not only are we going to give this family the house that they need, that they deserve, but I think it's really important that we follow in Monica's footsteps this week. Awesome family, right? Yes. Coming up. Are you ready for some slam dunk? Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Today, we've taken all of these cars that have been in crashes and put them in front of Biscuit Stadium. I guess we both had a very big loss. For me, this week means that Shada and William's message will be put out there for the world to know. is very tied to Monica and Brady and their story. They've either gone through tragedy just like them, or they're here to help them spread the word. Policemen, families who've gone through domestic violence, organizers and members of Mothers Against Drunk Driving, all people who are coming together for a common cause, because in one way or another, we're all affected by these stories. We've got a great builder this week. We've got Jake and Owen Aronoff from Aronoff Homes. Um, anything you want to say to everybody before we kick this thing off? I'd love to. First of all, I've never been on a job where I've been more emotional about what we're about to do. Because it's not just another construction job. In this case, we're doing something for a family that deserves it because of the way they've lived their lives. They've turned their pain into something that is really inspiring for us because they've decided to serve as a result of those losses. 
so we can learn a lot from this family. We've got 600 volunteers out here, backed by another 2,000, and we're ready to build a great house for yes. these people. Okay, now right now the family's on vacation, have no idea what's about to happen. Should we let them know? Family, I tell you what, man, this week, your community is really rallying for you. And they'd like to say hi. Say hi, community. Hi. Miles, KK, I know you guys love basketball. Well, we're thinking we're going to have ourselves a basketball demolition. So what do you say, people? Are you ready for some slam dunk demo? The bucket actually hits the house. Yeah. That's yeah. how we do demo. Are you guys ready? We're yeah. ready. We're ready. Then let's play ball. Yeah. Play ball. Defense, Whoa. defense, defense. Seeing the house being torn down, you know, I was just amazed, you know, like, this is really happening, you know. It was exciting seeing all my friends play basketball, and I knew that this dream team was going to lose, but it was still fun to watch them. My mom, she she been through so much, and just to give something back to her, this is just amazing. See you when you get back. Bye, guys. It's morning of day three. As you can see, we got our foundation in. We got our walls going in. Oh, it's important to remember when Monica and Brady lost their kids, they had to bring in their grandkids. Well, now we're going to give them a house. 3,200 square feet, and that's going to be room for everybody. In the Jordan's new home, blue is a new green. Now, this blue coating is non-toxic and environmentally friendly. It protects against moisture and insects such as termites, which means this wood in this house is going to last a long, long time. Tay-Tay is all about earth science. Now, what we're going to do is give him an earth science bedroom. What's that going to do? It's going to be the layers of the earth that go up this entire wall, right all the way up to the ceiling right there. Here's the best way to explain it. 
When we talk about the Earth, we talk about the center of it, which is its core, bright, molten lava. On top of the core comes the outer core, all right? So we put it all together, and this is really what's good, what, what Tay-Tay's room is going to look like, the layers of the Earth. The Earth really tastes good. This week, I'm working on Brittany's room, and I wanted to do a project where I use a lot of mirrors. So I came up with this great idea to use all of these broken bits and pieces of mirror from mosaic panels in her room. You know what? I'm definitely gonna need all of these. Thanks. No problem. Let me just give a shot of that. Okay. So my special project this week is actually Monica and Brady's bedroom. Now, I can't tell you exactly what I'm doing, but I can tell you this. With what they've gone through and they're lost, man, it's, it's taken reaching out to, to people that's helped them really kind of get through their pain. And I think sometimes when you reach out, it helps more than one person. You actually can help many. And sometimes, we all just need a helping hand. Perfect. It's day four, and we're almost ready to paint the walls. Look at how beautiful the spiral staircase came out in the entry. Now, I want to show you where all the furniture is going to go. On this side of the fireplace, we're going to have one couch over here. That looks fantastic. On this side of the fireplace, we're going to have another couch for people to sit comfortably. Looks good, guys. Here in the dining room, I'm going to put a big table where all the family and friends can come and sit down and eat. Exactly like that. But my favorite part of the house, which will be Monica's, is this kitchen. Monica really likes to cook up that good southern cooking. Nice job, Dink. Thank you. I think this kitchen's going to be great. Hey, Polly, Tracy, let me talk to you for a second. I know you guys are busy, but I think, you know, Monica really has two missions. Um, it's to raise awareness about drunk driving, and it's also to raise awareness about domestic violence. So this week, if you'll kind of handle the raising awareness of drunk driving, if you'll team up with the folks she works with and raise awareness about domestic violence, we can continue what she does, okay? Sounds good. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks. Thanks, Ty. While the family is away on vacation, I think that it is extremely important to continue the good work that Monica is doing. I called the local division of MAD and they set up an exhibit. And this exhibit is all of these vehicles that have been in these horrific crashes. And it really just shows the impact of what these crashes do. I mean, they really wreck lives. And the point is to really just spread awareness. Don't drink and drive. Hello, Jordan family. Hi, Tracy. Today, I have gathered with a group of people who have stories. We've taken all of these cars that have been in crashes and put them in front of Biscuit Stadium here. And the impact is huge. And I know that that's a very important thing to you to continue to spread that message and awareness. And I have some people here that would love to say hello to you. Hi, Monica. Uh, my name is Josephine. and. Uh, my husband of 33 years was killed nine months ago by a drunk driver. So if this can help one family not to go through what we've been through, the fight is worth it. Monica, we're here for our daughter, Jessica Jones, and we'd like to thank you for all your hard work. I guess we both had a very big loss. It does not get any easier. When I saw the video of those wrecked cars, I knew that William's death was not in vain, that millions of people would see that and see the devastating effect of drunk driving. And that was so, was so wonderful about it, to know that it wasn't going to be just about building a house. It was also going to be about bringing awareness and that was great. <laughs> that really was. So Paul is actually in another part of town working on another project. I am here on the campus of Auburn University, Montgomery. I am here with a very in uh, interesting art installation. If you look at all of these silhouettes that have been cut out, they all have names on them here. And all these silhouettes represent women who have been killed due to domestic violence. Monica, I know you and your daughter, Fala Shada, had a dream about going to school together, getting your law degree. And that, that dream, of course, did not come true because your daughter was killed. We uh, do have some great news here. 
Auburn University Montgomery has granted you a full scholarship to come here, work towards your law degree. What do you think of that, everybody? And Monica, that's not all. Hey, listen, for, for Tete, Shanquille, for, for Miles, full scholarships to Auburn University. So they'll be right down the road, not far. Getting a scholarship is pre a pretty big deal, you know. It made me feel proud, you know, that all the work my mom does pays off. When she lost her two children, she could have been depressed and hated everybody, but she flipped everything around and loved everybody. I'm proud for her. And now both of us can bring home our report cards and see who did better. It's wonderful. If you or someone you know deserves a home makeover, go to abc.com keyword home makeover to apply to be on the show. right now is applying this magnetic paint. So when this whole wall is done, she'll be able to take these big magnetic words and put them up on the wall and do her poetry. It'll look just like this. Style. That's right, this room does have style. Dirk Nowitzki is, is Miles' favorite player in the NBA. He plays for the Dallas Mavericks. I'm gonna give him a call right now and see if he can't help me out with the room. Hello? Hey, Dirk. Hey, it's Paulie. How are you? How you doing, Paul? I have a 15-year-old here that uh, you are his favorite player in the NBA. And I'm wondering if, if you can't send me a signed jersey. That would be great for his room. Sure, I love it. Absolutely. Dirk, thanks so much. You have a great game tonight. All right, thank you, Paul. Bye. Perfect. Who's who? I'm Monica's sister. All right. And I'm Monica's mother. Grandma. I flew in yesterday, and I'm telling you, when I saw it, I just, I lost it. Because this is going to be mean a lot to them, and especially to Tay-Tay, because he was only five when he lost it there. And he took it rather hard. It was because he was right up on his dad at all times. So this is just amazing. I can remember the day that it happened, and then when it happened the second time, my sister called me and said, I have to bury another one of my kids. Her voice saying those words ring out to me so much, and when I'm down and depressed, she's the one who lifts me up. The Jordan family is amazing because of the fact that they've gone through so much tragedy, not once but twice in their lives. But you can tell that together they've drawn strength from each other and they've used that strength to turn a negative situation into a positive one. They've sort of overturned sadness and anger with love and that's pretty amazing. So here's the thing, Monica really has reached out to the community, and by doing that, I think it's really kind of helped her, it's given her comfort. Well, this week, the community has really been reaching out to her, and they're even helping me. Right now, guys, I do need your help. Can I get a hand? Perfect. We wanted to make sure that the Jordan family was as comfortable outside of the house as they are inside. So our great friends at Sears got us this amazing outdoor furniture, and this Kenmore Elite Grill with the built-in refrigerator. Monica actually has her own barbecue sauce, so this way, she can keep it nice and cold, ready to barbecue. Who wants a hot dog? Yeah. Come on over. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at this. One of the things I've learned this week is about forgiving. We, we certainly can do it on little little scales, but uh, to be able to forgive such tragic events is the way to begin healing. And Monica has done that, and by doing that, she's able to help others. Healing starts with forgiveness. That's it!
stepping out of the limo, it was amazing. All these people got together and did this for one family. That's what makes you feel so good, to know that someone cares for you. Today is about joy. The day that we knocked on your door, you wouldn't let go of my hands. <laughs> and the day that we're bringing you home, you will not let go of my hands. OK, because I got to make sure you're here. <laughs> so what do you guys say? Are you ready to see what's behind this bus? Oh, yeah. <laughs> When I saw that house, it felt so good. It was that joy and sadness all wrapped up together. But the old house was a home that was in much needed repair. So I would just patch up as best I can and keep on going. This new house represents so much. We can make sure our other grandchildren have a decent living. Although Shada and William are no longer here, their love is all in that house. That's the house of love. <laughs> If you love this house, you got to get a big old hug to Jake Aronoff and his whole crew. Oh, yeah. Amazing job. <laughs> Come on over here, Jake. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gary. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad to do it. We know that there was a mortgage on this property. Yes. We don't want you to have to worry about that anymore. Aronoff Homes has paid it in. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding! Oh my God. I just think the Jordan family are special because they've taken their loss and they've turned it into contribution, into a whole life of giving. To be able to respond in a positive way after losing two children under tragic circumstances, to give comfort to others who've had to live through similar situations in their families, it's just hugely inspiring. Go check out your brand new house. To find out how you can help families like the Jordans, go to a bettercommunity.com. Jordan family, go check out your brand new house. This is gorgeous. Look at this kitchen. Oh, I can't believe this. Can you believe this? We have room to sit down. When we opened up that door, it felt like I was floating on air. We used to get flooding all the time. My mom had to get buckets and just pour out water, and that's not going to happen anymore. We have a house that doesn't have any patches, any holes, any cracks in the floors. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. We can help more and more people. I was just so happy and it was an amazing feeling. Oh. When I saw my baby's pictures on that table by the stairwell, I felt my children there hugging me. And it felt so good. I felt this warmth embrace me. It was such a good feeling. I didn't want to let it go. I saw Shauna and William's love, and it just felt like <laughs> It was a stairwell to heaven, and we were there with them. <laughs> Thank you.
the Jordan family, what do you think of the new house? It is great! <laughs> that is awesome. awesome. Pretty awesome, right? Oh, gosh, awesome, awesome. Now you guys have got a dining room area? Yeah. And then there's plenty of room for, like, more family and yeah. friends? Yeah. Have you seen your kitchen? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Brand new oven, stainless steel, all by Sears. All new everything. So you guys like what you've seen so far? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, here's the thing. There's a lot more to see. So Jordan family, go check out the rest of your house. I love these colors. Oh my god, it's so pretty. This is beautiful. Oh my god. I love my wow. Oh my god. When my daddy died, I used to write poetry. Now I know that since we had the new house and I have the new room, everything is just a new start for me. It's a new beginning. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. When I first walked into my room, it felt like I was standing on lava, because it was hot, and I was standing on lava. And I looked up, and I saw planets. I love my room because it has all the science stuff that I like, and it feels like I'm standing on hot lava. Oh, my God! Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Oh, I love this room. Basketball's everywhere. Oh. Look at this jersey, the sound by Dirk Nowitzki. Going into my room, I had an autographed jersey by my favorite player, Dirk Nowitzki, and I was just in shock. And I looked up and seen that I have a basketball goal in my room. My mom's probably not gonna like me playing basketball in the house, but uh, they put it there for a reason, so I gotta play. I'm sorry for anything that I might break, but I gotta have fun. Here, let me have the last shot. Let's see if this works. Oh, no. Oh, that just happened! Yeah! That's right! <laughs> to the top of my lungs. I was like, ah! I couldn't believe it. Everything that I've always wanted, everything that I need is in that room. I have this nice big desk where I can study. I aspire to be a pediatrician. I mean, I'm just so ready to study right now. It's so amazing. Oh my God, nice bed. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at that. This is beautiful. Oh, gosh. Oh, Brady, oh. look at the hands. <laughs> oh, oh man. God. Oh, look at that one. Look at that one. Oh, this is... That's what it's all about, connecting. This is beautiful. Oh, gosh. When I opened up that door and saw all the walls of hands reaching out and realizing that people put love and care into building that room. I am so humble. When I really look back on me and Brady and all of our years together, I realize that we've had to go through a whole lot together, but we've always come through, through the storms <laughs> and through the sunshine. And today has been a sunshiny day. <laughs> I can't believe you did all the hands <laughs> in my hands. <laughs> Did that inspire you, me holding your hands? It did. It did. <laughs> now, actually, there's there's one more thing I want to show you. Okay. All right? Come on. <laughs> oh, God. truly amazes me about Monica is the strength she has. She lost both her babies, you know, and they had dreams that never got to be fulfilled. And I think with Monica sharing her stories and sharing the pain she's gone through, she saved more lives than she can even know. And that's what this week has been about. It's about preventing 
what happened to them from happening to someone else. I just want to say that I never thought that the small things that I do to um, bring awareness to domestic violence and drunk driving would affect so, so many people, would reach so far and wide. One person can make a difference. Even the smallest can affect a whole community. That's the truth, man. Yeah, it really can. <laughs> well, I guess there's just one thing left to say. <laughs> Welcome home, Jordan family. Thank you. Thank you. This week means more than a house being built. This week means that there's a strong message being put out. And the message deals with violence. When you kill somebody as a result of drinking and driving, that is a violent act. When you kill somebody as a result of domestic violence, that is a violent act. I will continue to be a voice for victims because I know that there are so many of you out there thinking that you have nowhere to turn to. But believe you me, if you just hold on and don't give up, tomorrow will be a better day. To find out more about the products used on tonight's show, go to abc.com, keyword home makeover. Basketball, the key to basketball, of course, is teamwork. Just like building a house in seven days. What do we got going on here? Okay, Murphy bed right here that'll fold down. Basketball hoop that he can practice on there. Five men working as one, just like building a house in seven days. Teamwork. Te First lesson is always keep your eye on the ball.